In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Meta Business Manager account, formerly called Facebook Business Manager account. If you're ever going to be running adverts on Facebook and on Instagram, then you need to create a Facebook or Meta Business Manager account. Facebook or Meta Business Manager is a tool that helps business owners to manage their assets like Facebook advertising account, Instagram account, Pixel, WhatsApp account, and also this tool helps to you know give access to people to help you manage your business. So if you're looking to scale your business, you can actually use this tool as well to you know give access to people to help you manage your business. So without much ado, I'm going to dive right into my laptop screen and show you exactly how this is done in a few minutes. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to business.facebook.com forward slash create. So if you do not have a Facebook account already, you need to create one. So you click on create an account. So I'm assuming you already have a Facebook account. So you enter your business name here. So I'm just going to enter Sam's, I'm just going to type Sam's uh, business. Then I'm going to enter my name here. Also, I'll enter my email address. Then I'll click on submit. Okay, so once you are done with this, you need to check your email for a verification message. So Facebook is going to send the verification message to your email inbox. So I'll come here and confirm my business email address. So you click on confirm now. Okay, so once you click on confirm, you are going to be brought to this interface here. So this means your Facebook business manager account has been created already. So if you have other business manager accounts, you just have to click on this uh, drop down button here to see the list of business manager accounts you have. Once you are done confirming your business email address via the mail Facebook sent to you, then you visit business.facebook.com forward slash latest forward slash home. So if you do not have a Facebook page yet, I'm going to add a link to how to create a professional Facebook page. So I'm going to add the link to the description of this video. So this is where you get to see notifications about your page, you know, comments from people. So if you have comments from people, you know, who have visited your page or your, you know, your Instagram page, your Facebook page, this is where you get to see the notifications. So we also have the inbox. So this is where you get to see, you know, messages from Facebook and on Instagram. So you can manage all of them right here. So you just click on any of the options you want. So you get to see the, the comments, you get to see Instagram comments, Facebook comments, Facebook messenger, you know, messages coming to your messenger inbox and Instagram messages as well. Then we have posts and stories. So post and stories basically is is used to create posts you can also use this option to create um facebook or instagram reel you can use it to create stories and all the planner is actually used to schedule posts so if you want to create posts for a later date you can actually use this planner to schedule your post then we have ads so this is actually going to redirect you to facebook ads manager where you can create adverts and also manage your advertising um, campaigns we have the insights the insight is used to monitor your post and see how they are performing. So you can also use this to know the number of people who have actually commented on your post, the number of people who have actually viewed your post and track the performance of your post basically. So I'm going to be heading over to settings so we can see other options and things we can do on our Facebook business manager account. How to do this, you just visit um, business.facebook.com forward slash latest slash settings so once you visit this link you're going to be redirected to this place so this is where you get to you know see more advanced options so we have people so people basically is where you get to you know add people to help you manage your your business so you're going to click on add people so if you want to invite someone to join your business you can actually achieve that by entering the person's email address. So I'm going to enter an email address to invite someone to join my business. So I'll click on next. So once I do that, a request is going to be sent to that person. So once he or she approves it, then the person is going to be added to my business for the particular role, you know, I'm going to be giving to 
the person so i can select a business role to give to the person so if i want the person to just be an employee like you know if the person is actually an employee and i just want the person to have employee access to my business then i'm going to select the employee access the admin access is going to give anyone you're going to be giving access to your account to you know delete manage everything on your account so i'm going to be doing employee access so i'll click on next so a notification is going to be sent to the person i want to give access to to manage this account so i'm going to click on send request so as soon as the person i'm giving access to this account confirms or you know accept the invitation then the person is going to have access to this account and click on done so the invitation has been sent to the person already so um we have assets so if you want to add asset to your business account your facebook business account all you have to do is to click on add assets so you select the type of assets you want to add so i've added my facebook page already so if you want to also add some more options like instagram account you know we have um, custom conversions we have pages advertising accounts so i'm just going to be adding instagram account so if you have an instagram account and you want to add it to your business manager account so what this does basically is to help you manage your instagram account right on your you know facebook business manager account so if you have an instagram account click on add instagram account then i'm going to take this claim instagram account so it's going to it's actually going to redirect you to instagram so you have to log in so you log in and um you follow the prompt so once you log in it's going to ask you to you know link your instagram account to your to your facebook business manager account so once you are done it's going to be added as an asset to your to your business manager account then we have um business settings so business settings under business settings you know you can you get to see different options here we have people um we have um, pages so if you do have a facebook page you can actually come here and add the facebook page to your to your business manager so i'm going to click on um add a page so this is for you if you have an existing facebook page so i'll click on add a page so i'm going to just um, type the name of the page here so before i go ahead to type the name of the page let me show you the other options there so if you want to request access to a page like you have someone you want to you know manage a business for all you have to do is just click on request access to a page so this is going to help you you know help that person manage israel business then if you want to create a new facebook page from scratch then you come here and click on create a new page so with that being said i'm going to be adding a page i already created so the name of the page is 247 shop so i'm going to click on the facebook page name and click on add page so the page has already been added to my business manager account and the next thing we want to do is to create an advertising account in order to run adverts on facebook and on instagram you need to create an advertising account so we're going to be creating an advertising account here so this first option add an account is actually used to add an existing advertising account you already created so we do not have an existing advertising account so i'm just basically going to you know move on to the next one so the next one is request access to an advertising account so basically what this means is if you want to help people to manage their business this is where you come to you just request access to an advertising account then you manage people's business for them what we want to work with is create a new advertising account so I'll click on create a new ad account Creating a new advertising account is very important like I explained earlier. You enter your ad account name here. So I'm just going to enter my ad account name. Then your time zone. Your time zone has to be GMT plus one. So if you're watching this video from Nigeria, because I'm actually creating this video from Nigeria, your time zone has to be GMT plus one. So if you're not in Nigeria, you have to select your the time zone of your country. The default currency is actually in us dollars so i'm not going to be going with us dollars but if you want to create a dollar account then you just select the us dollar you just leave it that way so i want my currency to be in you know nera so i'll be selecting the nigerian nera then i'll click on next 
so this ad account is going to be used for yeah my business so if you were to be running adverts for a client you click on another business or client but i'm using for the sake of this training i'll be using this option i'll click on create okay so my advertising account is all set so the next thing i want to do now is to add people and set permissions in order to have your advertising account you know fully set up so you need to actually add yourself or add other people to help you manage your account so i'm going to be adding myself to this advertising account so i'll be giving myself full control over this advertising account so there are different options we have partial access so this partial access is going to give access to people to you know create an edit advertising campaign so i'm not going to be doing this we also have another options for you know people to view performance of your of your ad we have manage creative ops and um full control so basically i'm going to be selecting the full control so i'll take this and click on assign so this is set up already then the next thing to do is add payments information so i'm not going to be adding the payments option here you can actually go ahead and click on add payments information but i won't be doing that right now so I'll exit this so we have um we have um, data sources so for now this is some um, advanced features that you might not be needing at the moment as time goes on i'll talk more about this probably in more videos i'll be creating so we have a uh, brand safety this is also some advanced features so if you want to add domain you come here you add your domain so once again in order to set up your business manager account professionally there are some settings you need to still you know attend to so you come here and you click on once you visit business.facebook.com forward slash latest slash home then you come down here and click on settings as, as soon as you click on settings you are going to be redirected to this page here so um we have billings so if, if you want to set up your payment option you just come here and click on billing then you just have to follow the prompt so you click on payment settings then you add payment method so once again you're going to select nigeria as your currency then the time zone has to be gmt plus one so if you're not watching from nigeria you select your country time zone then click on next So we have two payment um, method here. You are not going to be selecting this debit or credit card option. We are going to be using PayU. So PayU is a preferred option if you are in Nigeria. Please do not make the mistake of selecting this debit or credit card option. It's not going to work. So you are going to be using PayU. This second option, Nera Payment with Mastercard or Visa. So um, you click on Next. So you are going to skip this so you are going to enter the amount you want to fund your account with so this is going to be a prepaid account so you have to fund you have to put money into your account before you can run adverts on facebook so you click on the amount you just select the amount you want to fund your account with the default amount there is four thousand five hundred you can actually increase this to maybe ten thousand or if you want ten thousand you can you know increase it to ten thousand era then you click on next So you continue then you enter your credit card details then you click on pay the amounts you're paying once you are done filling your your credit card information follow the next prompt and um, you'll be done making payments so just familiarize yourself with the facebook business manager dashboard if you want to learn how to create a professional facebook business page watch this video showing right on your screen Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.